Work is underway on the most ambitious infrastructure expansion in Nigeria's history. This will be one of 10 new train stations on a $1.5 billion railway project that will connect the Atlantic Ocean port of Lagos to Nigeria's third largest city, Ibadan. Construction of this standard gauge railway project began in 2017. Upon completion, it's hoped that it will help to decongest Nigeria's overpopulated city centres and open up the country to the western region of Africa for travel and trade. Nigeria's rail network was originally built under British rule in the 1900s. Today, those tracks and their design are outdated. They're being replaced and a new standard gauge railway line is also being built. What has been built now is better for Nigeria than before. The old tracks were built way back, before independence. We need to build a new track so it can be used both for freight and for passenger trains. The world is improving, so we need to move along with the world. A nationwide rail project that will eventually run from the south to the north of Nigeria is being constructed in stages to modernize the country's rail network. This terminal in Lagos will be one of the busiest in the country. This is the Butemeta Junction Station, which is the largest station of the project of Lagos Ibadan Rail Project, about 11,900 square meters, and projected to house about 6,000 passengers at peak hour. Right now, they have finished the structural elements of this station building. What will this look like when it's completed? It's nothing like we've seen before in, in Lagos. It's going to be very modern, all glass. The designer was very particular about giving it that modern look, while also being functional for the climate here. Developing infrastructure will increase movement of goods across the country. Nigeria's government hopes that this major railway expansion will boost the economy, but there have been challenges. Well, key is production and manufacturing. So essential is the tool of logistics, and that's what transport provides. It will create employment to probably go to, to enhance production. And it's such a large population that we have here. What are some of the challenges in modernizing and developing Nigeria's railways? The first thing is Money. Money makes things work. We don't have enough money, so we have to borrow. Railway is very capital intensive, and we've had to go out to look for financiers, co financiers that will partner with the federal government to develop the infrastructure as well as provide operational equipment. We have done that successively with the China government. The vision is when all this is completed, we can have a very functional and reliable transport backbone that will help the Nigerians to diversify from the oil economy, uh, go into the mineral producing areas, have transport that is capable of evacuation of mineral resources to industries locally and to the ports. Finance and expertise for the huge modernization project is being provided by China. I travel to the capital, Abuja, to speak with the MD of the Chinese Civil Engineering Construction Company about their role. In the CCCC, the major role for the railway sector is to provide the high technology to Nigeria. We uh, bring the system, we train the people, they get familiar about the whole system and uh, the operation the equipment. So it's a, it's, a, it's a future for Nigeria. Nigeria's rail modernization project is being designed to eventually run across the country, from Lagos to Kano. The first section of the new rail line, which runs between the capital Abuja and Kaduna, was completed in 2016. In addition, the Abuja Rail Mass Transit connects the capital's airport to the city centre. It opened last year. I spoke to commuters on the metro. This is my first time travelling by train, you know, I'm going about train. So, and I'm here for my holiday, so I want to have fun. I'm coming from Bordakot, but I live here in Abuja. Unfortunately enough, I don't have the privilege of using the train so much because we only have two laps in a day. I hope they improve on that. Analysts say a modernized transport system is needed to develop Nigeria's economy. Trying to develop the country or trying to start up the process of modernization for the economy or even diversifying the economy without first sorting out transport infrastructure is basically like trying to make a product without thinking of how you will sell that product. We have a lot of cities that are overpopulated mostly because manufacturing and distribution are very situated close to each other. With a modernized railway system, it means you can afford to situate your manufacturing at any part of the country you want and transport it from there to the point of the end users who need it. 
The impact on the economy is enormous. I can almost predict that it will probably even double the size of the economy. There's really no way to modernize the Nigerian economy without first dealing with the issue of transport logistics, primarily railway modernization, because that's actually the powerhouse for moving products, goods in any modernized economy. It's cheaper, it's faster, it's more efficient, it's more reliable, and like they say, you don't get caught in traffic. With billions invested so far, Nigerians are watching closely and hope this project stays on track without delay.